laws. There are spirit realms that we want to do a lot, but if you don't understand the laws of the spirit, then you're going to do a whole lot of energy, you're going to waste a whole lot of oil, and you're going to get that much of effect, but you haven't penetrated the kingdom. When you penetrate the kingdom, then angels are loose to fight for you. When you penetrate the kingdom, then angels have authority and charge over everything you do. Y'all need to praise them, because I think I'm, I done went somewhere, I done left you. I done left you, I done left you, I done left you. So while some may despise the fundamentals, the principles of what it takes to get an anointing, some of you going to be so full of zeal and determined you got ministry anyway. I can't stop it, honey. I can't do nothing about it. But just like the word said, because your foundation wasn't laid right, your fall is going to be great. But if you're willing to take your time and submit yourself to God's authority, then I will be anointed in everything I build. The gates of hell will never prevail against it. I need y'all to praise him. And that like oh I'm moving forward and I'm going to do it right clap those hands and praise them help me to praise them help me to praise them help me to praise them when you don't govern your life by his laws and by his order you leave a gap for him to come to it. Now, here's the thing about the devil. He may not come right now. He may not come next year. He may not come in five years. But it's when you're at the peak, when you think that you're untouchable, that the devil never forgot that gap. He didn't forget. You never did put concrete right here. You never did so right right here. And there's a hole. What is that hole? It could be unforgiveness. What is that hole? It could be bitterness. What is that hole? It could be your adultery. Y'all don't like me. What is that hole? It could be you never did tithe. You never did pay your offering he said all right after a while it's gonna come down and great is the fall of it i need y'all to act like you love them i need you to act like you love them act like you love them you have to make crooked paths straight what is god wanting to do with the house of god he's wanting us to walk in our full authority this is not the day this is not the hour that we should be uh faking power that you pushing people down instead of them falling on the anointing it's not important that you fall down it's important that the devil was cast down and if you never foam at the mouth if your eyes ever wall to the back of your head i need you to walk away a free vessel in jesus christ clap those hands and help me to prize them hi The time is out for quacks and wannabe ministries and, and doing a whole, we've made the church look like a first class fool. And that's why they're making money of us in the movie theater. And they're making money because they're able to see the form of godliness, but they ain't seen no power. Somebody say the devil is a liar. Power never left the church. God just teaching us how to get it back. Clap those hands and prize them. Hi. Moving forward. And so we're doing layers and layers of teaching and layers and layers of instruction so that we're sure that we're standing on holy ground. You understand that warfare goes in layers. You understand that God will start you in small battles. He'll start you in small things. But understand that as you get power and authority and maturity over those small things, you begin to elevate into other levels of him. So it is in the army. I don't know how the ranking goes, but I know they have captains and I know they have lieutenants. And I know you may have to start off in boot camp and you might graduate to be a private. But after a while, God said, don't stop there. You're on your way to another place. That's what God is saying. But every calling or every stage of military that they go to, every new assignment, there's another level of training. There's another level of authority. And your life is that much more at threat. I need y'all to praise him. Why? Why is my life at threat? It's not because of who you are, but it's what you can do to me. It's not because of who you are but it's the authority that God have given you against me I need y'all to praise him oh I need a praise I'm leaving you I'm leaving you I'm leaving you I'm leaving you and that's what the Lord is saying and we can't pity pat saints just help me y'all just help me I just I just got when I go out into town and, and minister Gina I tell you I, I, I teach real hard and sometimes I have to relax myself and I tell the people I say, I'm sorry you know I got a lot of folk that come from a lot of different what lifestyles because some of the people look so passive and I said so that's the drive in me because that's the harvest that God have given us but I'm 101 percent convinced that where much is given much is required and I'm not gonna be a gangbanger in the street and come over here and just 
serving and doing nothing in the house of the Lord. The devil used me to do, to do souls damage. Now he's going to use me to heal them. He used me to ruin lives. Now he's going to use me to heal them. He used me to tear up people. Now he's going to use me to revive them. I need y'all to praise him and tell him I owe the Lord. I owe the Lord. Hey! Clap those hands. I need to hear a high praise. I need to hear a high praise. We're moving forward. I need to hear a high praise. We're moving forward. So as we deal with authority, authority is the power or the influence or command or thought. You have the ability or you have the power or you have the license or you have, um, you have what, it, what is the means to do what you do. Authority. Nobody can stop you because it's what you're supposed to do. Nobody can do anything to say, how can they? You can't because God or authority is in your hands. We give the example very often of the police officer, right? Yeah. And so you see the police driving his car and he's doing 90 miles down the, hour, down the highway going to catch this other car. Yep. And guess what? He's driving a car that may can go 110, but you driving a car that may can go 120. But you know what the difference is? Y'all got the same power. And your power could be stronger. The power is the ability to drive fast. Power is ability. Power is ability. It's the ability. I have the power to pick this up. It's power to handle. And obviously, according to my ability, determines my level of power. Um, I have the power um, to, to, to move this, but it's out of my ability. So I'm limited. Are y'all working with me? I'm limited to my power, the ability to do something. Yes. The difference between power and authority is that I have the right to do it. And the problem with the church is that we want power. Because you feel it. Because you sense it. And you can even see that there's a need to do it. But you don't have the authority. Because you don't have the authority, you don't see the results. Because you're out of your area. Again, police officers, they have the power. We all do it. We line up a couple of cop cars in our car. Who going to go the fastest? We could do that. But on Highway 80, who got the authority to drive fast? Your authority is 65 miles. And even though you got to watch your foot, because it's 80, whoops, I didn't mean to go 80, whoops, I didn't mean to go 85, whoops. <laughs> but your authority is 65 miles an hour. That is the authority they've given you. As long as you stay within 65 miles an hour, ain't in no trouble, it's all good. Because that's your authority. Now let's keep dealing with driving a car since it's such a good analogy. And even though I'm doing like this, want to do 80, guess what it takes? It takes my ability and my will and my discipline to stay at 65. Even though I have the power to go 90. Even though I used to get tempted, but I'm older now, I know it don't make sense. You get tempted to speed just as fast right behind the cop. And <laughs> might as well take advantage. He's going, whoo, you go right behind. I used to get tempted. <laughs> it takes discipline to stay at your authority. It takes discipline to stay in your lead. Nobody didn't say you ain't got the power to do. You got it. Go. And you're going to get a ticket after what? I hear the souls of our children crying. And we will go to the Father. Because prayer has been prayed over our children. Prophecy has been made over our children. The devil is a liar. You will not have them. God has made you a prince. Young men, young ladies, he's made you princesses. He's made us kings and queens. It was an experience. I don't feel the same. It's just mind-blowing. It is truly an experience.
The workshops were really great. The workshops. Just God answered a lot of questions. Now, does that mean that faith and trust are The hand of God is absolutely on your life. The power of God. Yes. New York. Hawaii. New Jersey. Holland. Nations came. He wants nations. Our next conference. Satan has a problem here because something has started in Sacramento. God just really came in this youth conference and gave everyone a good blessing. I envision thousands and thousands of young people weeping before the presence of the Lord.